We're with Carl Lear, I'm head coach of the SBU track and field team. Carl's Falcons getting ready for their indoor season opener this weekend at the University of Washington. Carl, you work with the kids since fall. What are you seeing out there, and how are you liking what you're seeing so far from this group? Yeah, I thought we had a great fall. I had, uh, worked hard, uh, got stayed healthy. Uh, I, you know, the people who weren't doing cross country, they 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 have a long season of training and, and no competition. So uh, I know they are really looking forward to Saturday to actually get to race against uh, other other teams, someone other, other than themselves. Other athletes, yeah. Uh, and of course, our cross country teams have have. Uh, had a, had a long, uh, good season this last fall, and and they're coming off a little bit of a break and getting back into it and, and running a lot shorter distances than they did all fall. So uh, a new start for everybody, and yeah, I think all coaches are ready to excited to excited to get get going. All right, uh, talk about some of your veterans, and you've got some experience kind of across the board. So let's kind of take us through some of those veterans who are coming back and what you're looking for from some of them this year. Sure, uh, we have. We have a young team overall, but we do have some some uh, kids coming back who have have been pretty successful uh, in last season. So, you know, we get to bring back Rennick Meyer and Scout Kai, who, who were both uh, All Americans last year mm -hmm. in, in in outdoor track. And uh, yeah, of course, we bringing back Kate Lilly, who made the final in the in the fifteen hundred mm -hmm. in outdoor last year. And and you know, we get to add some really exciting training partners to, to their group as well. So uh, Kaylee Mitchell coming in uh, with, with Kate Lilly uh, will be contending in that mile 3K this year. And and on the sprint side, we, we have some exciting sprinter jumpers and P. Sig Bonaguam, Jenna Boyer, uh, you know, a handful, uh, Rebecca Trosher, all really uh, high level runners and excited to watch them start on Saturday. And I know right from the start, you've been really excited about this incoming class. Just overall, yeah. is this maybe one of the strongest classes you brought in since you've been here? I hope so. I think you know we haven't we haven't seen any uh, track meets yet, so I think they definitely have the potential to to uh, put some good marks. But I think again, uh, this Saturday is just a start and a and, uh, start to start uh, competing and and. Uh, hopefully putting up times that they're excited about. And this, this opening meeting, what do you look for from this one? Are people kind of shaking off the competitive rust, getting back into the groove a little bit? As a coach, what do you look for on a weekend like this? Well, we hope that, that our, 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 our athletes are prepared and, and going to you know, get into this big stage and, and uh, be when, when they're called to the line, they're, they're ready to go and, and prepared. And, and uh, I think uh, once the gun goes, I, I, I think I think our, our our athletes have have the potential to have a have some good marks, but uh, we'll let that kind of shake out as the as the as the day goes. Things goes all right. Uh, and on the men's side in particular, you got some very good young distance runners. Talk mm -hmm. about some of them a little bit heading into this indoor season. We do have an exciting group of, of young distance runners. I think uh, uh, the indoor season is so compact and yeah. and competitive to get into the races that we don't we don't often see all of our, our young men uh, in the distance sides at least until later in the season uh, but but we do have some some exciting kids who I'm really looking forward to to see put on spikes and, and run on the track and Colby Otero had a, you know you know a great cross country mm -hmm. uh, season and uh, Braden Schultz uh, Jared Putney uh, is gonna uh, coming back from an injury so excited to, to watch him going and, and you know we have some guys coming back that uh, I think are just gonna keep building on the year they had last year Elias Graf, mm -hmm. uh, yep. Colin uh, Bouton, Colin had, Bouton had a great, great outdoor season, season last, season last year. year. So yeah, uh, overall a really fun group, and and I think they have some pretty high aspirations. And talk about the compact season. I think from the opening day to first day of conference is just like thirty four days, so yep. not a lot of time in there. Conference again. I mean, people always talk about SPU and uh, and Anchorage, but now Central certainly in the mix. Western Washington. Just your yeah. thoughts on the conference heading into this year? Yeah, we'll keep. We'll, we'll find out a lot more in the next couple of weeks what the conference looks like. Uh, my sense is that it's it's going to. It, it, you know, there's a handful of teams that that have the ability to win conference championships. So I think uh, it's all. It depends on you know who's healthy and and yep. uh, uh, ready to go in, during championship season. So. We're going to do our best to to get our get our kids prepared and, and ready to go in that at the end of the end of the season. All right, all right, coach. Thank you so much. Very much. Good luck. Thank you. You bet.